I'm Nicole Sanders O'Shea. I'm the academic leader for the arts at Toya Homai. I have a Master of Fine Arts with first class honours from Elam School of Fine Arts from the University of Auckland and a Bachelor of Visual Arts and a Postgraduate Diploma in Tertiary Teaching from, the, um, from AUT University in Auckland. Um, I've held positions in tertiary education since 1997, so some of you probably weren't even born then. Um, that's how long I've actually been in tertiary education, and it's because I love it. It's absolutely, um, it's just so good to be with lots of art and designers um, doing creative things every day. And so that's why we go into the education field of creative arts often is because we're with like people. Um, so I've taught at Elam School of Fine Arts, uh, Eastern Institute of Technology in Hawke's Bay, Hungry Creek Art and Craft School in Auckland, um, and AUT University. And since 2013, I've been working at Toyo Homai Institute of Technology, which was previously Bay of Plenty Polytech. I'm an award-winning artist and printmaker specialist, mainly in screen printing. Um, I've been a practicing artist for at least 25 years. I'm sure we could say longer, but I'll say, you know, roughly. Um, I've been exhibiting for longer than that, but I would say my best exhibitions probably started 25 years ago. Uh, I've exhibited in local, national, international exhibitions, public artist talks and presentations, and I've been an international artist residency in New York in 2018. So that's a bit about me. Um, so now what we're going to do is talk about the creative industries, art and design, music and media programs. I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to those areas, and then we'll go into the more details of those programs. So in the creative um, industries, we have these um, three sections that come together, arts and culture, education and technology. And that basically covers the creative sector. Um, when we think of art and design, music and media, Toyo Homai, we basically cover all of these aspects except for architecture. That sits in another program within another faculty at Toyo Homai. So if we think of what we offer, it's definitely design, fashion, games, media, mixed reality, music, performing arts, photography, publishing, screen, software, visual arts, and advertising within what we teach and what the students learn. So in fashion design, create, design, innovate, see your ideas come to fruition on the runway, wardrobe, and costume, learn industry construction and pattern techniques ready for industry. And visual arts, develop your visual arts practice. Experiment with a range of industry standard technologies and exhibition presentation methods develop, to develop into a professional practitioner in the creative arts. Graphic design, advance your graphic design software skills and knowledge. Work collaboratively on client briefs and develop solutions to real world problems. Communications media, consider, consider a career in media, enhance your media, enhance your media skills like filming, video editing, social media, podcasting, and digital marketing to be employable for the media industry. Music production and performance, specialize in voice or your chosen instrument to develop as a performer playing to live audiences and learn industry-based music production and recording to produce your own music. Creative Industries Overview of Art and Design at Toya Homai. So meet the tutors first. So we have Kelsey Taratoa, he's a Māori visual artist. He has a Master of Māori Visual Arts from Massey University. He specialises in painting and studio practice. Uh, we've got Dale Sattler, he's our head graphic designer. He's a typographer, a coder, and um, he has a Master of uh, Design from Wintech. Donna Dinsdale, she's a fashion designer. She's an award-winning fashion designer. She won the Hukunui Fashion Awards last year. I think it was last year or the year before. And she also um, had a garment selected for WOW last year. And she is also a visual artist and she holds a Master of Art and Design from AUT. 
We've got Darcel Apalu, she's a visual artist, performance artist, and a wood chopper. She's a national and an international wood chopping champion. She has a Master of um, Art and Design from AUT. Heidi Douglas is a visual artist and photographer. She's actually one of the graduates from the Bachelor of Creative Industries program at Toya Homai, and she's currently finishing her Masters of Art and Design at AUT. Dr. Graham Cornwall is a visual artist and an art historian, and he has a PhD in philosophy. Riley Claxton is a visual artist and photographer, and he has a Masters of Fine Arts from Whitecliffe College of the Arts. Oh, whoopsies, put that back up again. Sorry about that, don't know what happened. It's right in the swing of it too. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen again. Okay, my last lot of um, tutors. So then we've got Coralina Bimova. She's an arts technician. She's extraordinary. She can do anything and everything. She put, supports students with laser cutting, uh, 3D printing, uh, CNC, digital routing, um, VR, AR technologies. Um, who, she's a specialist in AR and VR technologies herself. Uh, we've got Joanne Donovan. She's a textile artist and she's currently completing her PhD at AUT University. Uh, we've got uh, Emery Simon. She's a fashion designer. Manufacturing and production is her specialty area and she has a Master of Education Leadership. Kyle Settler is a visual artist and musician. She has, he has a master's in, um, in design at Wintech. Kiriyama Taipa is a Maori visual artist. He specializes in AR and VR, 3D digital technologies. And you can see behind him, he has one of his works, which is a 3D printed design that he's been very successful with exhibiting all over the country. Um, and he has a master's in Māori visual arts from Massey University. So first of all, we have the New Zealand Certificate in Arts and Design Level 3. Uh, this is a half-year program, it's 60 credits, and it is a February in intake at our Rotorua campus only. It has four courses in design, creative process, 2D studies, 3D studies, digital media and photography. It is a pathway to the New Zealand Certificate in Arts and Design Level 4. The entry criteria is that it's open, it's an open entry for over 16 years of age. So the graduate profile for this course is to apply introductory skills and conventions in arts, craft and or design to investigate design work. Apply creative processes and techniques to solve problems in response to a brief. Demonstrate introductory work practices in arts, craft and or design. Explore potential education employment pathways. Collaborate with others and reflect on, select and present work. This program also aims to ensure or to enable students to develop their literacy and numeracy skills relevant to the arts and design industry and or further study. For the New Zealand Certificate in Arts and Design Level 4, we it is also a half year program, it is 60 credits. At Tauranga, we have a February and July intake, and at Rotorua, we have a July intake for 2023. There are four courses, graphic design, design development, which is fashion related, materials and processes, which is more mixed media, and creative industries, which is based on tamoko practice. It is a pathway to the Bachelor of Creative Industries degree at Toyo Homai. The entry criteria is open entry over 16 years of age. And here is just a, a diagram of the Certificate in Arts and Design Educational Pathway. And you can see it goes from level three to level four. You could also do the Communication Certificate Program at level four. Often our students will do um, maybe semester one in Arts and Design, and then they do semester two in the Certificate in Communications Media. And then when they get to level five, they enroll in the Bachelor of Creative Industries.
So you can see here we have level five diploma of arts and design, level six diploma of arts and design. These are actually exit quals. They're just part of the Bachelor of Creative Industries. So you would enroll in the degree and then if you decide to not continue after a year, then and you're successful with all your courses, then we would credit you towards the diploma is how it works. And you'll see at level eight, there's postgraduate diploma of design. Um, and there's Master of Design and there's other qualifications as well that people can go on to. But at level eight and nine, these would have to be done at another institution. We only go up to level seven at Te Reo Homai. And then the Bachelor of Creative Industries degree, this is a three year full time program. That's 360 credits, so you do 120 a year. It starts in February at our Tauranga and Rotorua campuses. And it has majors in visual arts, graphic design, and fashion design. The compuls there are compulsory courses in art history theory, drawing for design, and collaborative projects. Um, what they learn is industry skills and knowledge, business and marketing skills integrated into project based learning. Pathways at, onto higher study, employment, or self employment. The entry criteria is university entrance or certificate in art and design level four, and applicants are required to submit a portfolio. So sometimes with this um, course, we'll have some N NCA level three students, and they may not, not quite get university entrance um, with that qualification. We would review their portfolio to see if they were at the right level. Um, if they only missed a few credits. Generally, um, if students only have NCA level two, they would definitely do the certificate in art and design. But to get onto that level five of the Bachelor of Creative Industries, we really need to make sure that students have all the art and design knowledge and principles expected of that level that is required for a degree and also of the kind of written and verbal communication skills that we'd expect to. So that's why university entrance is stipulated in the criteria. But like I say, we would also base it off a portfolio. The Bachelor of Creative Industries graduate profile um, is around creative thinking skills, explore creativity and the process of having authentic ideas that have value, demonstrate capability to be flexible and responsive, apply creative thinking, divergent thinking and idea generation to find practical and innovative, I can't quite see what's after it, solutions, apply critical and reflective thinking to design process, reflect and critique self care and group to develop pro projects, understand forms of research and creative arts, including problem solving, apply an understanding of relationships between theory and practice, develop own practice as a creative endeavor. But the industry graduate profiles are experience of real world environments with hands on industry involvement. Uh, we do that in a variety of different ways through project learning, as well as um, we have industry come in, they might teach workshops with students. Um, they may be part of a what we call like a dragon's den where they critique um, a product design solution um, to see if it's viable, commercially viable. And then um, they also are part of some of the other kind of more industry relevant presentations that studi stu students would do in their final part of their degree, as well as um, would go um, on site visits, field trips, that type of thing as well. But often we're involved in real projects. Uh, the latest one that's come up is After Dark, um, which is a, a light festival in Tauranga CPD. Um, we'll have some year two visual arts students that will be doing a light installation as part of that um, local festival. So as much as we can, we'll try to hook into things that are happening in the community as well but often encourage students to do these sorts of things outside of the program also as experience. Uh, utilize current and emerging industry technologies. So obviously that's really important. That's why we've got, you know, obviously a laser cutter, most people do. Um, we also have the vinyl, digital vinyl cutter, have a digital CNC router, 
um, 3D printers and um, uh, AR and VR technologies where we're doing things like um, creating work using what is it digital sculpting and then you 3d print it and you know all these kind of interesting new technologies using ar and vr technologies as well so always trying to keep up with industry utilize a broad range of creative skills develop an area of specialization within creative discipline um, create and define briefs and apply the creative process to enable solutions that are applicable and have value so yeah, that's a big part of what we what we do in the creative industries as well is about you know solutions being applicable, have value, are sustainable, um, really important moving forward uh, for the future of the arts and design is that um, the students have a really strong understanding of sustainability and uh, basically value giving back to the community, to the environment, to society. Apply ethical and professional practices to the creative industries. Okay, let's move on. So more is like contribute effectively in a team, display professional attitude, confidence, soft skills, um, use effective and appropriate oral written communication. Um, and we do a lot of that sort of thing um, that generally with the oral and written communication, we keep it quite specific to industry relevant content. So students might be working on a brand story they use for marketing. Um, they might be creating the, um, uh, the product information or the, an artist statement um, or artist bios, that sort of thing. So that's more a part of the kind of written communication, which is often used for marketing purposes, which is quite important. Some of the oral communication skills that students would learn is around things like pitch presentations. We found that really successful where students are able to visually communicate with um, effective written and visual skills um, to be able to get the idea across to an audience. And this has been really successful for us and we've seen a lot of our graduates go on to getting um, really good community funding and um, other funded projects through um, independent means as well. Um, integrate sustainability, like I said before, apply entrepreneurial skills. This is really important, obviously, um, being more future focused within the creative industries. Market, perform and present creative ideas and solutions effectively. So there you go. Education pathways for the Bachelor of Creative Industries. There's two of our graduates um, that um, set up the Tauranga Zine Fest in 2017 and that's still running today um, and it has been community funded um, ever since because of the high caliber of pitch presentation that they've been doing for funding to the community and also um, obviously participation and so these are other areas where we can the students will go on to after they complete the degree they might go on to a bachelor of honors of professional creative practice i think that's at whitecliffe um, master of professional creative practice which is at eit eastern institute of technology in hawke's bay master of art and design at aut master of art and design at wintech Postgraduate Diploma in Fine Arts, which is at Elam School of Fine Arts, Master of Fine Arts, which is Elam School of Fine Arts as well. There's lots more um, programs that students can go into. These are the ones that we've noticed so far that our graduates have gone into and have been successful in, but there is probably another 10 that they could go into. There's a lot more in the South Island and obviously I haven't even touched on Mass University as well. Um, employment Pathways. Our graduates will be work ready in the creative industries as individual practitioners, sole traders, contractors or employers in the visual arts, working as an artist, sole trader in multimedia, painting, printmaking, sculpture and product design to create and exhibit artwork, contractors or employees in arts administration, gallery curation, art dealing, hiring, arts consultancy, marketing, tourism, arts events and festivals, artists run spaces and performance. 
in graphic design, it's in branding, marketing and identity, advertising, web design, illustration, digital applications, animation, gaming, publication, photography, product packaging, industrial design, film, television, video, communications media and social media marketing, but not limited to that either. Um, and then you've got fashion design, and so that's including textile design, fashion designer, fashion technician, sample machinist, pattern engineer, production designer, uh, buyer, retailer, um, a costume designer, quality control, supply chain administrator in more than that too. What we actually find is that because the students in the Bachelor of Creative Industries do courses together, so some of those compulsory courses that I talked about, which are art history theory, drawing for design um, and collaborative projects, where they have to um, you know, work in groups and do design thinking skills to create products or um, events and things like that they actually all learn different skills and similar skills, which is often around marketing, um, social media, uh, presenting of work, so photography, um, product design photography, um, taking photo really good photos of models and of the artwork, of promotion of documentary, all that sort of thing. So even though someone might, might do fashion design on a degree, they may well get employed in an area that's more around social media marketing. And that's just um, because they actually have an interest in that as well. Okay, then we've got a creative industries overview for communications media. So the communications media tutors um, are specialists in their field. So we've got Adrian Maidment, he's the main tutor for this program. Areas of interest are digital marketing, podcasting, content creation, and advertising. A range of other tutors and guests covering audio production, filming, video editing, presenting skills, content creation, marketing, and social media. You also have um, guest um, tutor Evan Pope, who does quite a bit of guest tutoring, and he's a, a sound engineer at Studio 11B. And I've just put in um, one of Adrian's cartoons because he is actually a cartoonist as well. And I really thought this one was quite cute with career-wise, I'm aiming to be beloved national treasure, but I'll settle for a victim of his own success. So let's hope we're all successful in the creative industries. New Zealand Certificate in Communications Media Level 4 is the only program in this area that we offer at Toyo Homai currently. It's a half-year program, it's 60 credits. Uh, we have two intakes in the year, one in February and one in July at the Tauranga campus only. Um, there's four courses that students do and it pathways onto the Bachelor of Creative Industries degree or onto other communications media programs at other institutions, which several graduates of this program have done successfully. The entry criteria is open entry over the age of 16 years. So the graduate profile for this is to um, graduates are able to analyze their career pathways in the communications media industry to support their career development, apply an understanding of roles of communication media and society um, in a media production context, apply a range, broad range of verbal, visual and written communication skills across communications media contexts and environments collaborate and contribute to the production of communications media content. Wait a minute, can't see that. Across a variety of interactive communications media publication platforms. Uh, demonstrate the importance of sound legal and ethical practice in communications media context and environments. So you can see that the, the course is quite dense um, with really specific communications media information or understanding as well as a lot of really good broad communication skills and then also on top of that which it doesn't say there um, but it is full of um, digital technologies off, obviously to enable this to actually um, students able to make video content. So there's some project examples there, uh, them on uh, actually at events, filming, and then doing interviews, 
and then them posing as a group and also working um, on different software, on editing software and in the podcast room for doing podcasting. So the types of skills you learn in uh, communication media, uh, verbal, written, visual, presentation, and interpersonal communication skills. Um, but partly the inter interpersonal is because they're working in groups often. And then radio and screen context environments, radio on air skills, recording and editing, broadcasting standards authority, intellectual property, uh, digital media content environments, um, you've got filming and editing, green screen filming, film theory, storyboarding, image manipulation skills, interactive media context environments, um, appropriate use of social media, social influence, community management, analytical skills, search op engine optimization, and cultural awareness, local and international. So you can see it's um, full of good learning. So this course, the communications media course, um, education employment pathway, is that it gets graduates ready for employment and work competencies that will assist me with people moving into radio, screen, print, and digital media industries, skills and knowledge and topics related to legal and ethical practices, media production, communication skills, and interact interactive communication. So this um, pathway actually goes from the bottom. Um, so it's a slightly different version. And you can see it says in here, 40 credits at NCA level two, 10 literacy credits at level one, um, 10 numeracy credits at, at level one. So that would also, if a mature student, um, it would probably depend on um, it would just be a mature entry, so you wouldn't need the NCA le um, credits. And then with the level four certificate in communications media, it will go on to entry level roles in radio, screen, print, and digital media. But it also may lead to other programs like the New Zealand Diploma in Radio Broadcasting Level 5, New Zealand Diploma in Screen Production Level 5, Bachelor of Communication Studies at AUT. And there'll be lots of other ones, but these ones that are more close to where we are here in Tauranga and Rotorua. So the Creative Industries Overview for Music. So let's meet the, meet the tutors. So we've got Damien Lunson, he's a web designer and sound audio engineer. Uh, Rick, Nick Ranui, and he's a drummer percussionist. We've got David Bishop, also known as Davey Beige, that's his musician name. He's a musician and guitarist. He also has recently completed his PhD. Uh, and then you've got Mandy Meadows, uh, she's a vocalist and she's classically trained. And Ben Wilcock, he's a pianist, blues and jazz musician, and he has rave re re reviews about his um, LP releases. He's very talented, or well, they all are, but just saying, he's just put something out. Also, Dave, Davey Beige is going to be um, releasing an album very shortly. If not, he's just done that, and I believe it is this one, Hard Work, so look out for that. New Zealand Certificate in Music Level 4. This is a full year program, so it's 120 credits. Uh, it's, it's a February start at both our Tauranga and Rotorua campuses. It, there is eight courses, and I'll talk about those courses later. Um, we've also got a part, it is a pathway into the New Zealand Diploma in Music Level 5. Entry criteria is open entry over 16 years of age. All applicants are required to attend an audition to demonstrate their instrumental or vocal abilities. Graduate profiles, um, read and write music to an elementary level, contribute to music composition and arrangements, perform music with confidence and ability for an audience, 
demonstrate technical ability on a musical instrument or instruments, use music cur curation and sound reinforcement technology, apply a broad range of research skills to inform own music practice, use a range of personal and interpersonal skills to work in the music industry, apply understanding of the music industry to develop own career plan. So the courses in this program are nice and varied and they cover everything that you would need to know in um, music and production. So music theory, composition, musical instrument, music technology, performance, music industry and music identity. And the pathway here as you can see it going down, it goes from New Zealand Certificate of Music Level 4 into the New Zealand Diploma of Music Level 5, or you could go into the New Zealand Certificate in Communications Media Level 5, and the employment pathways is music, musician, technician, road manager, coordinator, festival organiser and assistant. So now we'll move on to the last one, which is a New Zealand Diploma in Music Level 5. It's a full year program again, uh, 120 credits, February start at both Tauranga and Rotorua campuses. There are seven courses. Um, this program pathways into the New Zealand Diploma in Music at Level 6 or other music um, related um, study. However, at Toyoho Mai, level five is our final course in our music suite, but there are several other programs that you can pathway into in other institutions. The entry criteria must be 17 years of age or over. Music qualification um, is preferred for the level four or equivalent or NCA level two and a minimum of 42 credits at level three NCA or evidence of the ability to complete academic requirements of the program, so that's more for mature students, and all applicants are required to attend an audition to demonstrate their musical and vocal proficiency. So the profile for the Diploma in Music is to apply music theory, to read and write music to an advanced level, apply composition, arranging and or lyric writing techniques to create a variety of music, create music and sound recordings for critique using a range of recording, editing and mixing, apply technical ability and artistic proficiency on a musical instrument or instruments, uh, research and analyze a range of influences to inform own practice, perform music competency and creativity or creatively to engage an audience, manage and take responsibility for own professional practice, analyze characteristics of the music industry to develop own career plan. So you can see it's a bit of a step up from the level four and definitely getting those graduates on their way to being um, a musician or a, pro a music production sound or audio engineer um, for industry. So the courses are advanced music theory, advanced composition, advanced performance, advanced musical instrument, advanced music technology, working in music and individual project. So the educational pathway is again level four to level five and then to level six, but the Employment pathways, composing for personal repertoire, organizing personal groups or gigs, assisting in production of live or recorded music, music media, business occupations. So then we go on to the creative careers, creative industries careers, and this is really just summing up some of those kind of job opportunities um, for each of the different areas of study. Um, when we're thinking about uh, income and the fees of the study and the jobs that are out there. This was a really interesting, uh, I don't know, a table uh, of sorts. So this was put out by the Ministry of Business and Innovation and Employment. It's the most up-to-date um, summary regarding the creative industries and the, the type of income to expect 
and a bit of a range and the fees around the study and the job prospects. So you can see they really range from, um, say like if we go down to models, you can see the income's low, the fees are low for study, but also the job prospects are low. And it's likely that say like models, film and industry, and um, even producers and directors, even though the producers and directors income is high, the fees are quite high, the job prospects are low. And as we know with the uh, film industry in particular, is that um, it's often on contract work. And so they might get paid quite well, but it's only for a period of time. It's not often ongoing work. There'll be um, different contracts that, that people will go on. Whereas in other um, areas of the creative industries, it's a bit more stable. You can see here with performing arts, the income is not so good, it's under half. <clears throat> the fees are quite expensive, but the job prospects are low. And again, it's because the industry, um, we don't have huge audiences. We're not a very big country, so there's not as many job prospects locally. Um, artists and designers, the income's pretty reasonable. The fees are a reasonable amount as well but the job prospects are looking okay too so that's a pretty safe bet uh, photography and now this is just my opinion though just you know take it take it as just a grain of salt or something because you know you can interpret this how you like that's just how I've looked at it is that you can see say with photographers Incomes again a bit low, but again, I would say it's because a lot of um, photographers are freelance, so they're on contract. And then um, obviously they do the same kind of study as an artist and a designer. Um, and so therefore the fees, study fees are high, but the pro job prospects is job out, jobs out there. And then you've got uh, radio and television presenters, income really high, fees reasonable, but job prospects low. So, I mean, some people like to see this type of information to make decisions. In the end, I'd say do what really um, excites you and motivates you because you'll always find employment in that area. So, comes to, like I've sort of already gone over, um, is the types of careers in arts and design. So we've got freelance artist and or designer on contracts or as a sole trader, uh, graphic designer, marketing advisor, marketing content creator, typographer, web designer, 3D technologies, AR, VR technologies, content creator, that type of thing. Uh, you've got the gallerist, the gallery director, the gallery registrar, the arts education practitioner. So when we think of arts education practitioner, a lot of students will go into secondary school teaching when they finish a degree qualification because it cuts down um, the amount of study they need to do at secondary school teaching um, from say like three or four years to I believe one year and, but with their bachelor degree and so people might also go into tertiary education like myself um, or they might go into early childhood education also but also there's education um, managers and educators at public galleries as well. So that's another one. You've got the front of house. So these are people in public galleries where they meet and greet the public and they might talk to them about the program, what's on at the gallery, um, and they might host, uh, they might give a talk on um, something that's on at the gallery as well. The arts administrator, so there's lots of administration within arts projects and events and festivals. Um, so you have managers, operators, or operations and administrators as well. And that's not limited to it. That's just the type of jobs that often people get. Um, I was going to say at Tauranga Art Gallery in the last um, few years, we now have a graduate as the, um, as the registrar. And we have a, a, about three graduates in the front of house as well at the moment. Uh, fashion designer, fashion technician, sample machinist, pattern engineer, uh, production designer, buyer, retailer, costume designer, quality control, supply chain administration. And again, lots of graduates in all these areas um, doing all sorts of different 
um, positions and roles in industry. Then we've got careers in communications media. So we've got a range of media industry jobs such as social media and content creation. That's a big thing now and it's not going to go away. There's going to just be more and more content creation happening for marketing, for film, television, for social media, for radio, for everything. Um, some students are focused, we find now, as being a YouTuber. So they're actually making money out of their um their YouTube videos and their subscriptions to their YouTube channel. So that's um, become a big part of one of the projects in the visual and the communications media program, because so many people are very interested in this as a career option today. Film and television industry career options, commercial, freelance video capture and production, and many, many more things. And again, it will go into different fields. Um, people that do communications media sometimes go on then into the Bachelor of C Creative Industries and go on to do other design um, projects and also take on other um, industry roles. So then you've got a careers in music, employment or self-employment such as sound production, engineer, sound engineer, music performer at a range of events and venues. This qualification may also lead to employment or self-employment in role, such, roles such as um, composing for personal music repertoire for LP release, organizing personal group events or public music gigs, assisting in production of live or recorded music, and music and media business occupations. So this is like my final slide. And I just wanted to remind everyone that creative industries study and practitioners um, are highly valued in all um, sectors. So, and they are really valuable to all industries. And the reason is that they have the creative thinking skills, they have the problem solving skills, they get the communication skills, the team management skills, so they know how to deal with a team, a group of people, they know how to lead them, they know how to drive them to complete um, a project you know, for success. Uh, and also it's all the technologies they learn. So all the technologies that they learn in, a, in the Adobe Cloud, you know, Adobe Software Suite, um, all the video editing, um, all the filming, the photography, all that sort of thing is very adaptable for all industries. So I'd like to really point out that creativity and technology go across all sectors, including tourism, agriculture, manufacturing and retail. And thanks for your time.